let's talk about blocks in Python. Now, blocks refer to a block of code. And the way I like to think about this is paragraphs of code. Just how in writing you organize your, uh, your, your, your sentences in paragraphs, well, the same thing happens within Python within your code. And it, we call this blocks of code. So let's look at a few examples here. So blocks of code can be identified by looking at things that are on the same indent level. So for example, this is a one line block of code that just says print I, okay? I'll go ahead and I'll run that. It just says print I. Now, blocks of code can have as many lines of code as you want, as long as they are uninterrupted by another line of code that's on a different indent or a higher indent from it. So here we have two lines of code that are on the same block. And you can tell that because they are on the same indent level. Now an indent level, you may have guessed, is literally just the spacing. So this for, uh, the start of this for loop is on a different indent than uh, these two pieces of code down here. Uh, the next thing that we'll look at is, you know, blocks of code can be held within functions as well. So here is a piece of code that is all within the same function and it is all on the same block of code. Okay. Now let's just say, for example, we were to create another uh, function. Let's say my code too. Well, here's one block of code. Then you can see here that we are interrupted by a, a line on a different indent. So we have another block of code right here. And that is Python blocks of code. 